Sunny family. I am your Sunny coach, Sam Candler, and we are together for a very quick and effective dumbbell glute workout. Now, dumbbells are a great tool to use at home. They're very portable, very easy to use. And today, besides your dumbbells, all I need for you to have is something that you can put your foot up on and lean against. So I've brought a small chair and I have a plyo box. You could use an ottoman that would work perfectly for this, maybe a couch or a big chair and a half, right? Something like that. All right, so we have this dumbbell workout, of course, here on our YouTube channel. We also have tons of dumbbell and body weight workouts that you can do at home anytime on our channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and you'll stay up to date because we are adding workouts each and every week. All right, are we ready to get going? We are going to start with our warm up. So we're gonna do some dynamic stretching, which is stretching through movement. Then we're gonna get into the warm up specific to the exercises we're gonna do. Then we're going to get into our heavy circuit. Then we're gonna stretch and call it a day. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. We are going to warm up here without any dumbbells. We're going to do something called a prying squat. P-R-Y-I-N-G, prying squat. You're gonna breathe in, you're gonna actively pull yourself down into your squat. Maybe you stop here. Maybe you're able to get a little lower like here. Maybe your knees crack a little, that's fine. So from here, I'm taking my elbows and I'm pushing my knees out. I'm gonna put one arm down, reach one arm up. A nice little spinal twist, same thing on the other side. That's it, and then I'm gonna come up. I want you to see that from the side. We're gonna do two more, we're gonna breathe in. Lowering down, we're just opening up our hips here. You can rock side to side. One arm down, reach up. The other arm down, reach. Stand up, and then we're gonna get just one more in here. We lower all the way down. Wiggle around in there. Get a little curious. That's it, open up. All right, then we're gonna find our way into a plank position. From our plank position, we're just going to stretch out our hamstrings. So here, I'm gonna be down on my high plank on my hands and I'm gonna reach my hips back and simultaneously raise my left leg. Then I'm gonna put my left leg down, restack into my plank, reach my hips back and raise my right leg. Now you'll notice when you do that, you're getting a big hamstring stretch. That's the point. So we're stretching through movement at the beginning, just trying to get a little extra mobility going. We'll save the stra static stretching for the end. Let's get one more on that right. That's it. Okay, then we're going to stay on the ground and we are going to start getting our body ready for the exercises in our main circuit. So we're gonna lay on the ground here for glute bridges. Have your fingertips just about where you can touch your heels. You're gonna lift those hips up. Pause for a moment, squeezing those glutes. Lower right back down. That's it, we're up. We're down. I know this doesn't involve dumbbells yet, but be patient. We're gonna get there. That's five. We're gonna do five more. We're taking it to 10. We're just getting a little fire in those glutes. Glutes are the biggest muscles in our body. They carry the biggest impact when we work them. So when we work our big muscles in our body, we're making big changes all over our body. Honestly, working your glutes, your lats, your quads, your pecs, all of those things can help you get bigger other muscles like biceps and triceps. Okay, we're gonna stand up and we are going to do a dumbbell deadlift. So we're gonna take just one dumbbell today for this exercise. You're going to hinge your hips down. We're gonna bend those knees at the bottom and then we're gonna stand up. So my hips are going back as far as possible. And then when they can't go back any further, those knees start to bend. I lower down and I stand. That's it. Now, a deadlift is not a squat. This is a hinge. There we go. We're gonna get three more here, still just warming up. We have one more rep, that's it. Then you're going to take both dumbbells and we're going to do split squats. In our split squat, we're gonna step our right foot back. 90% of our weight is on our left foot. We're gonna hinge those hips back as we lower down so I have a mostly vertical front leg and then come up. It is not wrong to have your front knee come over your toes, but it's also not effective for working the glutes. That would be better for quads we're working those glutes. Two more here. That's it. And one. Switch to the other side. Now I'm in flat soled shoes here, but 
no shoes is really one of my preferred ways to work out. So you can always kick off your shoes if you're at home. That's it. We're gonna do two more reps here, pulling those hips back, just getting our glutes warm. All right. Now we're still warming up, but we're gonna progress our warm up so it looks a little closer to what our working exercises will be. So we are, for, we are going to lower down to our ottoman, our couch, maybe you've got a plyo box like this. Put your back of your shoulder blades down. And then I want your feet to be just a little bit in front of your knees. You don't wanna be tucked back here. You want them here. I like to put hands behind my head for now. I'm gonna drop my hips down and look down at my knees. And then as my hips come up, I'm gonna look straight ahead across my knees, straight up. Right down, right up. So I'm hinging my entire body here, not just dropping my hips. That's it, we're gonna do five more here. Two more. Last one. Okay. We're going to stand up. We're gonna take one dumbbell again this time. We're gonna go with a straighter leg deadlift here. Those feet just about hip width apart. This time we're gonna pull those hips back but we're not gonna allow our knees to bend. And we'll stand right up. So notice I'm going slow on the way down and then adding a little bit of power on the way up. I feel a stretch of my hamstrings as I lower. This hamstrings and glutes contract to bring me up. Four more. That's it. Two more. All right. Finally, I'm going to put this down. This is our last warm up exercise of the day. We're going to do unweighted Bulgarian split squats because when we get into our actual workout in just a minute, they're going to be weighted. All right. So let's take an object that's about knee height. This is too high for me, that's why I brought this. This is about knee height. I've got one foot back here, keeping most of my weight on my front foot. I'm gonna hinge those hips back as I bend both knees and then come to standing. We'll do five each leg. That's it. Pulling those hips back is gonna help us work those glutes. You may feel like today unweighted is enough, but this is a dumbbell workout, so I always recommend bringing the dumbbells for a dumbbell workout. All right, other side. That's it, pull those hips back. It's okay if your knee travels forward a little. If you are having any trouble balancing, you can always go near a wall. Hold on to the wall a little bit, maybe a railing. One more rep. Okay. So it was a long warm up, right? Now we're ready to work. We're going to grab both dumbbells. That's it. We are going to start with 15 hip thrusts. So one or two dumbbells, depending on the weight of them. We're going to lower down just like we did in our warm up. My dumbbells are going to be right here on my hips. I'm going to hold them there as I lower down. And as I exhale, I'm going to press up. That's it. We've got 15 reps. Nice steady rhythm here. If you feel your quads, the tops of your thighs, walk your feet forward. That's five for me. There we go. Keep moving. Nice steady rhythm. Toes are still on the ground, but you're mostly pressing through your heels. There's 10. I've got five more. Remember to look straight out over your knees at the top here so you don't arch your back. All right, that heat's building. One more. Woo! All right. I'm going to come forward, stand up. We are going to do two dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, mostly straight leg with a tempo here. So we're going to go slow for three, two, one, stand. So that's one. We've got 10. That's it. We've got this. Nice and steady. Speed is not your friend here. 
that's five. Hopefully you're keeping my tempo. There's eight, two more. All right, five Bulgarian split squats each side. So here you're planting one foot, you're stepping your other foot back, and here we go. Hinge those hips back. There's one. Notice here my knee is right underneath my nose when I lower down. Try to get your most full range of motion. There's five. Five is juicy enough for these. People hate Bulgarian split squats because they're hard. I love Bulgarian split squats because they're effective. Woo! All right, let's go. Two more reps. One more rep. All right, no time to waste. Right back to our hip thrusts. 15 of them, so find your positioning. Dumbbells on your hips. That's it, hips down, hips up. We've got 15. Now, if you are in public right now, I recommend not making eye contact with anyone. It gets a little weird. You just mind your own business. Hip thrusts are a great exercise, but they can be a little funny when you're in public. I'm at nine. Five more for me now. I really feel these. One more. All right. Come to standing. Ready? Romanian deadlifts. Hinge those hips back slow. Straight up. That's right. Open up your chest. We got this. We have 10 reps. We're at five. Woo. Things that started easy aren't feeling so easy anymore. One more. All right, Bulgarian split squats. Start with my left leg on the ground this time. There are all sorts of tips on how to pick your positioning for your Bulgarian split squat. It doesn't have to be a science, so go by feel. Do you feel like you're pretzeled up? Then walk your front foot forward. Do you feel like you're all spread out and stretching more than strengthening? Then walk your foot back. Easy peasy for the positioning. Nothing easy about this exercise. That's it. One more. Oh, I'm going to be burning tomorrow. Other side. Let's make sure I'm right here on my chair. That's it. Try to keep your knees from wobbling in. Part of the function of your glutes is to actually keep your knees out. So if your knees are wobbling in, often your glutes aren't firing all the way. One more. All right, squad, last round. Let's do it. All right, 15 reps, let's go. You know what to do. First round, we're getting familiar. Second round, we're on cruise control. Third round, we're making changes. That's it, this is our challenge. This is when we don't want to. When two feels good enough, we're asking our bodies for just a little bit more. Three more reps. One more rep. All right. Woo! Anyone feel like not holding their dumbbells anymore? I understand that. But we're almost there, 10 reps here. Nice and slow and steady with power on the way up. Here we go. That's it. How's our tempo? How's our posture? Are those knees falling in? No, because you know better. Three more. Whew. 
One more. All right, last set of Bulgarian split squats. I'm gonna stick this right leg first. Let's go. Last five reps. One. Keep your balance. Two. Sometimes the weights help with that. They help to anchor us. We got one more. Oh boy. That, that gets ya. All right, here we go. Last three reps of our day. One more rep. Squad, we did it. Dumbbells down. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to let go of them. Take a seat on the floor. That's it, let's take your right leg, cross it over your left. Here, just simply by pulling your knee towards you, you'll get a good stretch of that glute. You can even think about lifting up a little. I'll get an even deeper stretch. And that's it. That feels good. I'm just gonna here put my foot flat a little bit and lean forward. Just creating a little length here and a little length on my straight leg. Same thing on the other side. Hug and reach. That's it, squeeze in. And then I'm just gonna reach forward here. All right, Sunny family, I have loved working out with you. It is awesome to be strengthening our glutes together. As you know, I am your coach, Sam Candler. Now, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you stay up to date on all our latest. And of course, leave a comment to let me know how you did.